Today on Excite Video Magazine, we destroy tires and cars at the seventh Cheeky Cheeky Drift event. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dustin Mangan, and today we are at the seventh Cheeky Cheeky Drift event. Let's go and check it out. The weather is beautiful today. There is a lot of cars here, and I think it's going to be a really good event. Like most Japanese events, everyone was catered to from the beginner to the expert. I'm sure everyone knows Ueo-san, who drives an S15 now, but was known for his AE86 back in the day. Let's check out some of the drifting from the day. I didn't catch this one on tape, but I do believe this car is done for the day. It's a shame too. This guy is actually a good driver as you can tell from this clip from the Garage Wise Drift Day back in April. I'll post the link in the description or you can click now in the corner. It's a really pretty R34, so it's a shame to see it like this, but it will live to fight another day, I'm sure. On the same day as the drift event over here in the parking lot, it's a separate event, but there is a stance event going on. So let's walk over there and check out some of those cars real fast. And we're not going to take too much time because that's not really the focus of the day, but there are some really nice built cars over there. So, I mean, it'd be a waste not to see them, right? I wait for you tonight. You're making me reach the sky. I wanted to be with you. I want to dance with you. And if we get a world with your church, with your Oh 
that's enough stance. Let's get back to the track and let's see what we can find in the pits rolling around. Information Society. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society. I really like this crown. I just didn't get much drift footage. The Stance Magic wheels are pretty popular among budget drifters though. This X100 Chaser looks clean and proper in its Urus Aero. That NASCAR style rear spoiler has me in my feels though. Let's check out a run. Oh my God, dude nearly took out that bumper. Let's check that out again. Up next is this Rocket Bunny 180SX. I really like the Instant Gentleman headlights with the LEDs inside. The next two cars are also Makeup Garage B2 cars. This boss kitted S14 takes the cake though. The great wave under the hood was hand airbrushed. Even though this SR doesn't have a huge turbo, it has plenty of power to get around a Japanese circuit. This poor X100 Chaser didn't start the day without its bumper. As I was following another car, it went off track. So hard in fact that one of the barrier tires went to the other side of the track. As is typical in the JDM drift scene, everyone came to help the poor guy out. Even the safety truck came because we thought we were going to have to pull him out. But in the end, after they got the last remaining piece of the bumper out, he exited the track under his own power. I think it's hard to see in the video, but this S14 Koki had some of the prettiest paint at the event, and his skids weren't bad either. I've been thinking about a rack for the 180, so this car caught my attention. Unfortunately, he did not have very good luck either. That brings us to the ZSS S15 Twins. This one is not, but the other one is Katsuhiro Ueo's car. Uh, 
damn, that was fast. This S13 is owned by someone that lives in my town and it's a work in progress. I had so much fun, I forgot to film an outro. If you enjoyed this video, a like and a share would go a long way to help me grow the page. But if you have not done so already, do yourself a favor and subscribe. Subscribing lets you see the latest videos from Japan. It always has been and it always will be for you. See you guys in the next video. Peace. A thing we know.